Right, this is Liam Norton. He's a spokesperson for Insulate Britain. That's another militant wing of Accenture Rebellion. Not really sure why they have various different brands or names. They can't really even unite in terms of their own organization, let alone uniting the whole world. It's a tough job, guys. Tough job. This guy has been on TV and radio for a while now, recently. Um, he's gone on Good Morning Britain recently, this morning. He's been on GB News and a couple of radio stations. On Good Morning Britain, talking to Susanna Reid and Richard uh, Maitley, uh, he essentially was discussing how uh, his campaign, you know, about insulating people's homes, that is a first step. Well, he was firstly exposed uh, by <laughs> Dawn Neeson uh, because he hasn't actually done it himself. Why haven't you insulated your own home for a start? Because I think where you're coming from is, is pure hypocrisy as well. Sorry, is that the case? Is your home not insulated, Liam? Susanna, whether my... Um, Just answer the question, Liam. It's not, is it? We know it's not. Whether, not my, whether, my, whether my home is insulated or not doesn't change the fact that oh. millions of people's homes aren't insulated Hang on a and moment. they're not Sorry. going to be. Uh, is this the case? You're, you're saying you would risk your life, risk your life for insulating... <laughs> Shijana, Shijana. I mean, it's, it doesn't really matter. You know, one rule for for us, and you know, another another rule for the others. That's all it works. You know, the plebs should do what we tell them to do. But we're fine. We got the we got the lobby money. You know, we got all the big um, financial backers behind our campaigns. Extension Rebellion being funded by all the weirdos, the corporations. We got all the the, the people who are now trying to uh, fund these guys who are not only breaking the rules. They're actually affecting everyday life. They're, they're putting everyone's lives at risk. We had that poor woman who got paralyzed because she got stuck in traffic because of these people. We had a couple of other cancer patients who missed their treatment because of these guys. We had a couple of uh, younger guys who missed a very, very important job interviews and they now lost those job, job opportunities because of these guys. But the thing is, this is a spokesperson. He's supposed to be, well, he, ne he needs to have his conviction. He needs to have his facts and everything. Well, it didn't really go well because when he was debating with uh, the hosts on uh, GMB, he decided to storm off. The state of things. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, watching this programme, we now know that these protesters are actually following in the footsteps of Winston Churchill. That is the level of intellectual debate that they're able to bring to the table. They actually compare themselves to the stand that Winston Churchill took against Hitler. That's their parallel. What do we make of that kind of intellectual oh, I... rapidity? Well, I think that... <laughs> that's a sad part because these are supposed to be the majority of these leaders of these groups. They are your classic middle class, technically speaking, academically educated uh, and uh, quite privileged. And most of them either from the good parts of the shires or the cities who know better than you. You know better than the, the kids from council states in East London, for example. Well, when it comes to an actual debate, on the one hand, I've seen it, we've heard it from Extension Rebellion people and people like uh, Liam Norton, who spend a lot of time attacking Winston Churchill, <laughs> and then on the other hand, compare themselves to someone like Churchill's mentality. And then they say that, well, it doesn't really matter if we are supposed to be doing something ourselves, we lead, you know, lead by example. No, 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 no. As long as the working classes, their bills, energy bills go up, as long as they can't afford food, as long as they, you know, everything goes down for in terms of the lifestyle, but we can, you know, make ourselves feel better because the trees are going to exist for a while now. That's fine. Just make a sacrifice to yourself. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about my house because I'll do what I want to do. Now, there is a dark side to the ideology of climate activism, just like a lot of other left-wing causes and, you know, in the past, some right-wing causes too. Uh, today's Philosophy Corner on the main channel, my ATC, .co .uk, uh, me and Daniel McElhaney, we're going to be discussing the philosophy of uh, the climate alarmism and these people because it, it is quite dangerous. When it comes to your you know, self-righteous mentality, then you could actually put people's lives at risk without realizing. Sometimes it's intentional and sometimes it's unintentional. So definitely check out my2c.co.uk, support the channel, and I'll see you guys on the other side.